Hey guys, welcome back to another how-to video at BOS Marine. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this specialty tool that will save you guys a lot of headache and diagnosing for engine misfire codes on all Mercruiser inboards with emission control technology. So this tool is brought up in Service Bulletin 2011-11R2 and the whole reason we need to make this tool is that when the engine is under load between 2000 and 4000 RPM it throws a huge misfire code and the engine just feels like it just won't get up on plane, it's plowing water and uh, you know you probably brought it to the mechanic or you haven't yet but this tool is supposed to fix the issue temporarily until you replace the timing chain. So as you can see, this tool is made up of an LED light, a few wires, 9 volt plug, and a plug. So what we'll need, uh, based off the bulletin, is let's find it here four hundred and seventy ohm resistor a LED light the plugs a couple pieces of heat shrink and a nine volt battery plug so as you can see if you guys want to google the bulletin it is once again service bulletin 2011-11r2 um they even give you the part numbers for everything uh yeah so to save some time i've got an LED light 470 ohm resistor 9 volt battery plug the plug that it calls for in the bulletin and split piece of conduit approximately the length of the wires once they are connected a couple pieces of heat shrink and let's see here and a couple non-insulated butt connectors. Now the kit comes with three insulated ones that you can use but I chose to use the non-insulated ones because I don't think I'd be able to put all the uh, wires inside these insulated connectors. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your plug and you're going to Bare three ends like so do the same with LED these ones are already bare but Do it again. So, when we go into the bulletin. We got to make sure we hook up the positive and negative of the LED light to the correct side of the 9 volt battery plug because if we don't, the light won't turn on. Okay, so what we're going to do is, as you can see, a little hard to focus there, but on the plug it says A, B, C, A is the top wire, B is the middle, C is the bottom, and you're going to see on the plug, let's see here, probably won't focus in on it, you have to make sure that ABC on the plug is visible for when attaching these wires. 
So, they want C, the very bottom wire, to be connected to the positive side of the 9 volt battery plug. So don't forget the heat shrink. Put it on there. Oops. I'm going to hook it right to positive. Heat shrink that. So then negative goes on to A wire on the plug. And negative on this particular light is going to be white. So what we gotta do is fit both these into one side of the butt place. So last but not least, the 470 ohm resistor goes to B wire and the positive side of the LED light. So this is the tricky part, as you can see, it's pretty small, can't really see it, there you go. So what I like to do just fold these wires over until you get reasonably close to the resistor itself. Two reasons. So it fits inside the butt splice and so it doesn't take up so much space when you put it in line with the set of wires. So crimp one side. Other side. Okay, so we're going to use a nice long piece of red heat shrink to go over top of the whole works when it's done. So we crimp this side on. Pull test. That way, we center this. And heat shrink it. There you go. All the wires are connected. Heat shrunk. Now we're going to take our piece of split conduit and we'll put it over top. protection. Then you take some black tape and 
and you just wrap the whole thing so that it's 100% secured from all the elements. Oh yeah. So now, just for the test, we have ourselves a good rotor sensor. This goes inside the distributor. And we're just going to plug it in, like so. And we're going to take our 9 volt battery, hook it up. Now, we're going to find something metal, like this key, and we're going to give it a test. Oh, that's brown. Here, we'll use this knife. There you go. You can see the lights on. Off. On. Off. So when you guys go to use this tool, I suggest you print the bulletin off, but you're going to mark the harmonic balancer groove so it's quite visible. You're going to rotate it till it's top dead center and you're going to mark an inch and a sixteenth away from the notch in the timing cover but you're going to go an inch and a sixteenth counterclockwise if you're standing at the back of the motor. And you're going to line up that groove, putting it at top dead center to an inch and a sixteenth away. And you're going to rotate the, the distributor clockwise until the rotor Turns the light on, like so. So you're going to rotate it till it turns the light on, and then you're going to back it off till it goes up, out. And then button everything back up, and your misfire should go away until you get your timing chain replaced. This is kind of just a band-aid because the timing chain is supposed to stretch between 20 and 600 hours. I highly recommend replacing it because that's the right thing to do. This is just a band-aid. Well, thanks for tuning in to this episode with BOS Marine. If you guys like what you see, if you want to see us do some more bulletins or make other tools, feel free to like and subscribe. And yeah, for now. Get back out there.